Hello Year 2, it's Tuesday the 9th of June here and we've got another day of pictograms. So today we're focusing on pictograms where the symbols represent five each. So here we have a tally chart and we have a pictogram and they show the number of books read in each class but it's asking you to use the information in the tally to complete the pictogram. So if we look at the tally for Year 1 and we count up in fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But on the pictogram, it only shows three lots of five, so that's 5, 10, 15. So we need to add another two lots of five to complete the, that line off the pictogram. There we go. Now, if we look at year two, we've got 5, 10, 15, and on the pictogram, we've only got 10, so we need to add another five in. There we go. Now, if you notice, when we're counting in fives, the tally and the pictogram look very similar. Right, year three, there's ten in the tally and only five in the pictogram, so we need to add another five. Go. Year four, five in the tally and five in the pictogram. Perfect. Year five, there's nothing in the pictogram, but if I look in the tally, there are four lots of five, which makes twenty. So. 5, 10, 15, 20. There we go. And finally, year 6. There are 10 in the tally chart, so I need to have 2 books, which makes 10 in the pictogram. And there we go. The pictogram now matches the tally. Okay, with this problem, we are looking at the number of birds possibly that have been seen by somebody. So each block represents five birds. And the first question says, how many more sparrows are there than robins? So let's start by working out how many sparrows there are. So count in fives, that's three fives, so that's 15. And then robins is only five. So this is going to be a taking away. How many more is normally a take away? So take away those five robins and what's left is 10. So there's 10 more sparrows than robins. Next question. What is the total number of birds? Well, for that, I'm sure you've figured it out. You need to add up all of the birds in the pictogram. So you could do it in a couple of different ways. And I'm going to do it by breaking it down into different birds. So blackbirds, there's four lots of five, which makes 20. Robins, there's only five, so I'll add five there. For sparrows, there's three lots of five, which makes 15, so I'll add 15. Nothing for thrush, magpies, there are two lots of fives, so that makes 10. So altogether, if I count that up, that makes 50. How did you calculate this? Well, I added them all up in separate sections here, but you might have counted. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, all the way through. Or well, counted up the number of blocks and worked it out as in your five times tables. There are some options. Now it's asking you to think up your own questions to ask a friend. For example, it could be, how many more blackbirds are there than robins? Or something like, how many robins and sparrows are there altogether? But I'm sure you can come up with your own questions. Finally, ask how can we represent zero on a pictogram? Now we had that last yesterday, so I hope you can remember. If you're not sure, have a look at the thrush where there is nothing. So when we're doing zero on a pictogram, we basically leave it blank. Right, here we have a third problem, and it shows a new pictogram of how year six children travel to school. And each smiley face is worth five. So yes, well done if you found the key. That's always a good place to start. So how many children travel by scooter? Look for the scooter. Look at how many smiley faces there are and count across. So four smiley faces, four lots of five, is 20. And then it asks, how many children travel by car? And here, there are, at the bottom, there are six lots of five, so that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And 
Then it's how many children walk and travel by bike all together. So you need to find out how many children walk and how many children travel by bike and add them together. So 10, 15, 20, 25 walk and bike. 15 go by bike. So add 25 out of 15 makes 40. Next, it says, which is the most popular way of traveling to school? Now, that means looking at the pictogram and finding which one has the most smiley faces. If you look carefully, that would be the car, so by car. I'm sorry if you're seeing the numbers in the wrong places. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Then it says, how many more children travel by scooter than by bus? So scooter, look there, there's four lots of five, which makes 20. Um, by bus, two lots of five. So this is a takeaway again. Remember how many more taking away. So 20 takeaway, the 10 that travel by bus makes 10. Finally, five new children join the class and travel by bus. Show this on the pictogram. There is my smiley face I added to the picture.